Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence, and today I'm going to make some crispy buffalo style hot wings that I cook in the oven and some southern style fried corn. Um, I usually on the weekends I binge watch YouTube, and because I was watching some of my favorite YouTubers, I decided to make this stuff. I watched Loud um, uh, No Hippie Barbecue. Uh, cook some hot wings on the grill and I thought well I'd like to have some hot wings. He actually did his with a, a white um, a white barbecue sauce, a white Kentucky barbecue sauce I think it was. Go check out No Hippie Barbecue and um, check out that recipe. He likes stuff super hot and that probably would have been too hot for me. And then the fried corn recipe I've never had before. I'm actually trying uh, Ray Max Kitchen and Grills recipe and um, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to make it just the way he made it and uh, test it out and let you guys know how it is and go check out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. It's a great channel as well. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to use for my chicken wings. I'm going to use some all-purpose flour. I'm going to use some smoked paprika and I'm going to use some baking powder and baking powder is what's going to make them really crispy as if they were fried. Okay. Um, for my sauce that I'm going to toss them in, I'm going to, you can use whatever kind of hot sauce you like, uh, shiraka would work. I'm just going to use the Texas Pete Buffalo Wing Sauce. I'm going to use a tiny bit of rice wine vinegar. I'm going to use some honey and I'm going to use a tiny bit of sesame oil. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take some of my all-purpose flour. Let me get a spoon there right there on the camera for the food. Um, I'm going to take some of this all-purpose flour and I'm just going to dump some in a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to put in some smoked paprika. And I forgot salt and pepper. I'm going to put salt and pepper in. Hang right there, Frank, please. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. My husband, Frank, is taping me today. Say hi, Frank. Hello. <laughs> A man of few words. Get some pepper in there. Salt. You said tape. I'm sorry? You said taping you. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm Video recording. Me? I'm Video recording. Me? Okay. All the same, right? Go in. And I'm going to put a couple of <laughs> spoons full of this baking powder in here and I'm not sure what it is that makes the baking powder crisp it up like it's been fried but it does it actually works and I'm gonna give this a good shake up and then in batches I'm gonna dump it the chicken in some flats and some legs some drumettes and flats and give it a good shake And then I have lined a pan here. Come on in, Frank. I've lined a pan here with some aluminum foil. And the key to really getting it um, crispy is to have it raised up, not sitting flat on the pan. So you need that baking powder. I mean, yeah, baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And then you need to have it raised on a rack. And just kind of shake it off and get them on your rack. And I am going to go ahead and get all of these on the rack and I'm going to put them in the oven at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to turn them over and let them cook for another 20 minutes because they're going to crisp up on one side. And then I'm going to let them cook for another 20 minutes and turn them over, uh, turn them over and then 
I'm going to repeat that process one more time, turn them over one more time, and let them cook for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to say that one more time. I'm going to get all of these on the rack. I'm going to let them cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to let them cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to flip them over again and let them cook for 15 minutes. So I'll get back with you in just a few minutes and we'll start after I get these in the oven. I'll get back with you and we'll start on the fried corn. Be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. So we're getting ready to do our, our fried corn here. I've got a cast iron skillet, an enamel cast iron skillet going with my rendered with some rendered bacon fat and a little bit of butter. I've got some diced up red bell pepper, some diced up green bell pepper, some diced onion, a little milk, a little bit of flour, and some uh, cooked bacon that I crumbled up after I cooked it. And of course I've got some I've got some frozen corn. Now if, when corn is in season, it's probably much better, I'm sure it's much better to use fresh corn, but corn isn't in season right now, it's February. So, I'm getting my frozen corn in the pan. And I'm using the rendered bacon fat from the bacon that I cooked. And my wings are in the oven smelling pretty good. And I'm just going to get this stirred around a little bit. Oh, we're making a mess. I love using the cast iron because it holds heat so well and distribute, distributes it evenly. So I'm just going to fry this corn around a bit. Wow. And I've seen another video where they use fresh corn and, you know, she shaved the corn right off the cob and then... She didn't use milk, she actually used the, the milk from the corn, the corn milk, by scraping with a knife, by scraping the cob after she took the kernels off. And this is Raymax recipe um, from Raymax Kitchen and Grill. I said that earlier in the video. And this is how he does it. It looked really good with frozen corn. And it's a lot quicker too. So I, I let that cook around a little bit. So now I'm going to throw in my peppers and onions and cook off the raw taste. Get close on the pan for me. And let this cook around a bit. That looks really festive. Looks kind of like the Mexicorn. <laughs> But I think this is going to be way better because we got bacon and butter. And after I get this up going good, I'm softening these vegetables up some. I'm going to throw in some flour and some milk. I'm going to go ahead and put some flour in here now. And a little bit of milk. And Ray didn't really measure anything, so I'm not either. Everything is just kind of eyeballed. And that's the way I cook. And then, after he cooked it for a few minutes and put the flour and the milk, oh, I, again, I'm forgetting salt and pepper. Just a minute. Be right back. Can't go without salt and pepper. Putting a little sea salt. And some black pepper.
And then he turned the heat down once it got to cooking like this. And then I'm going to put a little bit more milk in there. See, mine seems a little bit thick. I'm just making a mess. This is not a very deep frying pan, so everything is flying out. And so now I'm going to turn my heat down to low, no. and then I'm going to put a lid on it and let it just cook for a couple minutes. And when it comes out, we're going to top it with some bacon. And then I'm going to come back to you after my chicken is done, and then we'll plate up the chicken and the corn and see how it all came out and make our. Uh, dressing for our chicken. So we'll be back in just a few after the chicken comes out of the oven. Hi guys, I'm back and we're just about done here. So let me give you an update on what's been going on. I've got the chicken wings out of the oven. Frank, can you give me a close up on those? And they look fantastic. They look exactly like they've been fried, just like I said they would. Listen, sounds like a fried chicken wing. crunch there okay so that worked out perfectly and then let's talk about Raymax um, fried corn looks beautiful doesn't it well what I did was I forgot that Raymax cooked it for a little bit and cooked the flour taste out of it so I went back and cranked up the heat and did the same thing um, and try to cook the flour taste out of it and it, it tastes really good I also adjusted the seasonings I salt and peppered it more to my taste and um, it tastes really good you know I took a little taste because I always say taste before you serve and it tastes really really good so um, go check out Ray Max channel Ray Max uh, kitchen and grill um, and and do it the way he does it because he does it better than me this is the first time I've done it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the sauce for our crunchy oven fried um, chicken wings so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some honey get in close Frank like Auntie Fee says you on me or you on this <laughs> so I'm gonna add some honey to my bowl I'm actually going to take this top off and see if that will make it go faster. Yeah. And I had a couple of bodies, bottles of 100% pure honey out because one of my bottles was almost empty because I like to use it in hot tea. You want to throw that away for me please? Thanks babe. And put some more honey in there. We're gonna make this sweet and hot. So I got a good bit of honey in the bowl, and I'm gonna put my Texas Pete Buffalo Wing Sauce in. And you can use shiraka, shiracha. I'm sorry, shiracha is really three syllables. But I'm gonna put about equal amount of shiracha and honey. Put any hot sauce that you like. I'm going to put just a couple of drops of sesame oil because sesame oil has a very strong flavor to me. And if you put too much, I don't like it. And it also has a smell that I don't like either. Some Chinese restaurants really overdo the sesame oil. There's one near my house that does too much sesame oil and everything smells like sesame oil. So I don't like it that much couple drops of rice, it's good in moderation, couple drops of rice wine vinegar, or rice vinegar, I'm sorry, just a good dollop there, and <clears throat> mix that up, I'm going to whisk this all together, it's kind of sticky, and that's what you want, it's going to be good and sticky. Get it all 
all mixed up. It's a little bit sludgy with the honey there. But once you start mixing, it all incorporates. Get my food rest over here so I won't make a mess. And of course you want to take a taste to make sure that everything is to your liking. So I'm going to take a taste. Nice. Ooh. I still feel that heat from that hot wing sauce. You can taste the sweet from the honey. Whoa, the best of both worlds. So I've got it all incorporated really well. And then just take your wings and toss them in there. Toss your wings around and you're going to put them on a serving plate. And when I get all this stuff tossed in, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So here are the finished wings. They look beautiful. Um, you could garnish them with some sesame seeds if you want. I have sesame oil in there, so that would be great. Or you could garnish them with some green onions. So I'm going to plate a couple of these. They are absolutely really crispy, and I love crispy wings with a sauce on the outside. And then here's Ray Max Kitchen and Grill um, fried corn recipe. And what I'm gonna do before I serve this up is I'm going to um, garnish it with the crunchy or the crispy bacon bits. So you know this is gonna taste good. I didn't say it was a diet meal garnish it with the crispy bacon bits and because I went back and I fried out that um, flour it is really creamy with that milk in it again Ray Mack does it better than me he um, has been cooking this recipe for a long time and this is my first time doing it so go to Ray Mack's channel let me serve some of this, some of this up for myself And let's give it a taste. So, mm. the chicken is crunchy. I don't know if you can hear it crunching while I'm eating it. I taste some sweet and I taste some heat. Both of them are there. Delicious. Hmm. As Fritz Rochester would say, let me dig into this corn. I have a new banner up on my channel and one of my good YouTube friends helped me with that. So comment on that too if you want. I'd appreciate feedback on that. He did a wonderful thing for me. Mm. Ooh, that fried corn is absolutely delicious. Ray McKay. Wow. It's got the crunch of the bacon and the saltiness of the bacon. The corn is sweet. You can taste the peppers, the onions. This is awesome, guys. Please give it a try. Check out Ray McKay's recipe for this. Um, fried corn. Go to um, YouTube and check out No Heavy Barbecue's recipe for his extra hot wings with his white uh, Kentucky barbecue sauce. Um, and you know, you, you decide which one you know is is best for you. Um, some some people like more heat, some people like less. Lyle is an absolute wonderful cook, but this is all great, guys. I thank you so much for being patient with me and for visiting with me. Come back 
and see me again, please click like, please share my video and encourage other people to subscribe and comment, give me some constructive feedback. Tell me some things that you might want me to try. I'm so happy to do that for you. And, um, you know, come back and see me. Go feed your family. See you later.